saving? How do we get the W? How do we create the points gaps that we need to be IS champions? So that's what this analysis is about. We're going to preview last week's game, pick out areas that we can strengthen where we're really strong and we can even get better, and areas that we maybe slightly got wrong, but we want to look at how do we improve our process to move us on to the next level. We're here with RAF Rugby Union and 23's head coach, Richie Craig. How are you doing, Richie? Yeah, good, mate. Good to see you. Um, how's the camp going? So yeah, far? yeah, it's been really good, mate. Um, the boys this week have obviously come into the camp. We were slightly disappointed in the result um, last Wednesday, not the performance, but we've had to raise the spirits. We've got that out of our system. We're ready to go again. So after last week's loss against the Army, how did you get the players to put in a positive reaction required in training? So we, um, we got together early on Sunday night. Um, bit of a closed door, got the PSG in and all the players, we sat down and we went through what we felt went well and what we felt went wrong, um, get it out in the open, um, get all those feelings out and then we have to park it ready for this week. Don't sit there thinking this is personal, well this is aimed at you, it's in, aimed at our process. How did we not function as a squad, as a team that caused us to let in points? Where did we get it wrong in that? How do we stop that happening? We are not one person out there, we work as a 15 and we keep working as a 15 to go forward. 10 minute block to start with, your forwards and backs, uh, scrum line out for the forwards, just have a debrief over it, backs, uh, strike play off scrum and line out, and then we'll go into three groups and um, review the stuff in red, alright, so a bit more detail and then we'll all feed in on that at the end. But once he's in that position there, we've made the first impact, we need to commit one more person, maybe just start tackle, get low, chop the legs, stops all their momentum so they don't get over that game line. Much better. That example, two up, and we've got the <coughs> All these clips are three things that gave us those opportunities to make those line breaks, and that was confidence and commitment in our running. If you run at 110% and just run like you are going to get through, you will get through, and then basic skills. Our catch pass, even that offload there, it was class. Like we what are the best and worst parts of an IS training camp for a head coach? Uh, best bits, I love this, I love this feeling of being part of the IS, being with um, the players, the PSG, the development of the young lads in the Pinnacle this season. Um, the worst parts um, are obviously selection, um, having to tell two or three people they're not involved in the, um, the IS squad this week is um, incredibly difficult, both for them and for us. Uh, where are the key improvements for, you made from last season, do you think? Um, a personal note, probably for myself, my coaching, and um, working using the coaches that we've got, and not um, getting too hecked up and stressed when things go wrong. Um, for the players and the, and the team, I think we've got more of a structure, more of a cohesiveness. Um, we've worked very hard on uh, defence and attack, but how do we work inside those structures and what we're aiming to achieve and everything we do? Brilliant, Richie. Best of luck for Wednesday night. Cheers, buddy. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. I'd like to welcome RAF 23 backs coach Chris Campbell. Chris, this is your first year involved in representative rugby. How have you found it? Uh, it's been exciting. It's uh, stretched me as a coach. Uh, really, really enjoyed working with the, the lads and working with Richie. Uh, tell us a bit about your journey and pathway to becoming an RAF coach. Okay, so I've come through the, the RAF's development pathway for coaches. So I started off as an assistant coach and OIC on Odium. Uh, I've moved up to Cranwell, become OIC at Cranwell, I've coached at Sleaford, I'm at Peterborough Lions as a city club and coached the divisional side in Wales. Uh, what have you learned from this IS campaign that you can take into the future? Uh, from head coach definitely the calmness and um, allowing the assistant coaches to have their freedom. Um, and the great interaction that we have with the players and the professionalism of the, the group that I've worked with. Thanks a lot, Chris. Thanks for watching. Cheers. I'd like to welcome RAF Under 23's backs coach Rob Crookshanks, uh, who's in his final year uh, before we leave the RAF. So, Rob, how do you feel with this being your, your last year involved? Um, I, it's the same as always for me. I'm always excited to enter these camps, these final stages of the IS, because what you will ultimately have, and I've seen a whole host of players come through it, but every year I see a group of players all 100% receptive to what coaches and all staff have to say, and they're all focused on one goal. And I've, it's very rare you find a group of people in any profession that are all so focused. What piece of advice you can offer to the players you've coached and, and future players coming into 23s? 
Don't see this as the final post, if you like. This is just one stepping stone in their Air Force rugby career. Um, achieve what you can out of this, and then once this season finishes, if they're old enough, come back, uh, build on what you've built before, and if it's the end, look to further your career elsewhere in the Air Force with the other rugby sides to see whether it be the seniors or the academy. Um, there's plenty of opportunity out there. Just take on everything and get as much as you can out of it. Well, Rob, on behalf of everyone involved with uh, RAF under 23s and the Vultures and the rest of the RAF rugby community, well, thank you for your efforts. And thank all you very much for the future. Thank you very much. I've enjoyed it. Thank you. We're here with newly appointed assistant to the assistant backs coach, Matt Clark. You've been capped at divisionals, Spitfires, Hurricanes, uh, under 20s, under 21, under 23, EPs, CS under 21s, Hawks, Senior 15, UCAF, uh, and finally the pinnacle of more Vultures. What will you bring to the team? Uh, well, just going off what you said there, I'd like to think a bit of experience. Um, to feel like I'm putting in the right action on a few bits and bobs. But looking at the players that are here, there's not a lot of guidance they need, they're already there. Brilliant, thanks a lot, man. All the best. I'm here with uh, Sean Chapman, the RF Under 23's team captain. Hi, Sean, how's it going? Hi, mate, yeah, I'm all right. How were the team feeling with uh, all the prep and, uh, and the week you'd had in the build up to the game? We were feeling good even after a loss to the Army. We had um, belief in the camp from both the coaches and players and we worked hard to iron out all of the weaknesses from the Army game. Just looking back at the game itself, can you guide us through your thoughts? It was a pretty tight affair. I think we got unlucky with a few decisions. For example, the first try was definitely offside, but not every decision can go your way. Um, we did, just didn't retain the ball enough and even though our defence held out for a while, and it was pretty good. Cracks did start to show, and um, the Navy exploited them well. What was said at half time? At half time, um, I didn't really have much to say. It kind of linked to my previous point that we didn't really retain the ball. And when we did have the ball, we looked pretty dangerous. And as I had a look around, there was not really anyone that was out of breath. So we just had so much more to give in that second half. And uh, that's all I asked of them was to go out there, give everything for the next 40 minutes and come off broken. Obviously not the best start to the second half. How did you pick the boys up so they could uh, get their heads back in the game? Yeah, it wasn't an ideal start to the second half of the Navy getting an early try. Um, but I got pretty lucky with a bunch of boys that I had uh, in my team. They were very self-motivated, so they didn't really need me to say much, as they were very driven to win. And a lot of the boys between them were speaking and knowing what it was that they needed to do to um, hopefully bring us back into the game. Heartbreak at the end and the uh, dejection on everybody's faces in the changing room was uh, pretty clear to see. Now, and this your last IS. What advice could you pass on to the future generations of under 23s? Yeah, losing in a uh, service game is never easy. It means a lot to everyone and the emotions in the changing room after the game showed that. Any advice I could give would just be to enjoy it. It's the most enjoyable rugby I've played in a long time and I've made some great mates over the years and probably mates for life. And I'd just like to wish the under 23s all the best in their future seasons. Thanks very much, Sean, and good luck with all your uh, future endeavours with the senior 15. Guys, there's um, lots, of, lots of words I could say. None of them is going to take away this pain. Yeah? To the guys that's here last year, thank you for everything you've given me and giving that shot. But this doesn't finish, yeah? As we said down at the all the shot, things beyond this as the academy, as a senior 15, you've now got to take this man and step up and not have this pain. Yeah? We've got areas to work on. 13 points across two games is what's cost us IS. You can sit and analyse it and look at it, but that's what it comes down to. 13 points. Last try, we're just played. We're trying to throw the ball about. I'm incredibly proud of you. Your heart, your effort, your work rate, you give up your weekends, you come down here and the pride you should put in that shot is something that fills me. You know how it means to me. So, we're going to do the presentations of the four guys that get capped today. Howard Powell's going to have a quick word um, and then we have to lift again. Back to your clubs. If you're not playing at a club, you need to get played. You need to get played rugby every weekend. You need to get working hard. 
we need to lift this so that when we come back it's 23 so it's lucky enough to try and fix this next year we come into this camp the best team the best rugby team that we can possibly be off the bench dragged out of training yesterday um, I, I generally think he's got a bright future from what I've seen in 40 minutes George Cook <laughs> Standing in the wing, um, again, he will go forward and go to the bright future. JJ Kilmer. <laughs> Almost half played rugby six months ago. Let's right now picked up a rugby ball. Um, I played against him in the Rugby League Cup final. I found out he was under 23. <coughs> he's now getting capped for the IF under 23s. I think it's an outstanding achievement. And if he keeps going in his trajectory, I'll keep no doubt. We've already mentioned him. Body student, Brilliant officer. Jack O'Regan.